Now, today we are going to discuss about client side programming using JavaScript. Client side programming is used to control the behavior of the browsers and it can be used to create the contents dynamically as well as we can interact with the HTML forms, users, and we can also save the client side data using the cookies. JavaScript is a case sensitive language and uh, it is its syntax is derived from the C language and it is compatible with the different platforms like Windows, Linux, Mac, and it is also compatible with the different web browsers. Its source code is visible to the end users, so it is less secure and latest JavaScript based framework is Angular. There are few limitation of the JavaScripts that that are it depends on the version of the browsers and there is no proper security provision for the user data we can declare the different types of variable having different types of data types like numbers strings boolean null values undefined variables and nan and there may be value type data types and the reference data types. We can use the VAR keyword to declare any variable like VAR name, comma, last name, like that. And there it the variable scope may be the global and the local. Local means its scope is limited up to the within the block. And global means variable is accessible to the entire scripts within the page. Now, if you just declare a variable and it did not assign any value to that variable, that is called unassigned variable. Now we can declare the commands like single line commands, just like C language, and it may be the multi-line multi -line commands. Now, the global object is window object. Once you have declared some sort of variable in that, that window, you can assess that variables using Windows property. Now we can perform the arithmetic operations like plus for addition, minus for subtraction, multiplication, division, modulus, unary, binary, increment and decrement using the different arithmetic operators. The another operator is the equal to that is used. That is basically assignment operator to assign any value to the variable and double equal to operator is used to check or compare the two different variables for the equality. Now there are some other operators like less than, greater than, less than, equal to, greater than, equal to just for the comparison purpose. And another operator is plus operator. If there are two strings value, then it will perform the concatenation operation rather than the addition. If the variables are uh, integer types, then it will perform the addition operation. Now, log these are the logical operators and not or to perform the logical operations. And we have already discussed the assignment operator that is equal to, and we can also use the plus equal to the value. And there are a few other operators, but not in the frequently used in type of delete, instance, void, new, country, scare brackets. Now we are going to discuss the DOM document object model. Browser window may have frames, event, history, document, location, navigations, and the screen. Frame is further divided into a document, and uh, document may contain anchor, form, image, link, style, and tag. Within a form, we can declare multiple controls like button, checkbox, input, radio, reset, select, submit, and the text area. Now, whenever you are going to 
you click any button, it event is triggered against any activity, and that is handled by capturing the different events. Now, system sends an event to the program and program respond to that events. Just like click, double click, key press, all these are the events triggered by the input devices. We can handle the different events using JavaScript like uh, Windows and document events. When a document is being loaded into the memory, on load event is called when you just close the um, browser window, on unload event will be called. You can also abort any operation using on abort and for the errors on error you can use. And if you are using mouse, you are move, then you can use on move, on resize, and on scroll. And for the form events, <coughs> there are on focus, on blur, on change, on select, on submit, on reset. For the keyboard and mouse events, there are different event handlers like on key down, on key up, key press, on click, on double click, on mouse down, mouse up, on mouse move, on mouse over, and on mouse out. Suppose this is a sample form. You just move the cursor over the a button and mouse over event will be triggered. Now this is the sample code. You are using window dot alert and that is showing some sort of message. That means mouse over event has been handled by the JavaScript. Even you can declare that event in using some function and same code you can rewrite in the form of the function and on mouse over equal to check form. That means you are calling the check form function on mouse over event. You can also redeclare the function again. Window dot open on mouse move a new window will be opened. Or you can also configure the on click equal to view window. On click view window function will be involved. We have some common event handlers like on click, double click, on mouse over, mouse down, on focus. These are related to the mouse. And for the text box, we, we have on blur, on reset, on submit, on load, unload. Now we can see example like just focus on the text box, on focus event will be involved. Now, if user is typing something, that means text is changing. It will invoke the change event. Now, just uh, focus on the other control. On blur, event will be triggered. Now, we can also handle the keyboard events like key press. When you are trying to press any key, then key is going down, then just release that and it will come back to up state. Now we can trap the number of keys mapped to the sky values as shown in the sky tables. Integer starts from the zero, having a sky code 48, then 48 to 57. That means 0 to 9 values are mapped to the 48 to 57 sky values. And in case of capital letter, a sky value is 65 to 90. And for the small cases, values are mapped to 97 to 122. Now we can track the is being pressed by the users. Suppose there is a is numeric function and you want to restrict the user that he should be able to enter only numeric values. Now declare a function and 
track the keys like e dot which either may be any key code or any other event and if the key code is greater than or equal to 48 and key code is less than the 57 then allow the input value otherwise just deny that as shown in this figure now if you want to enter only letters alphabets only now the values are 91 to 123 only. So uh, thank you very much. Uh, this is enough for the day.